Isoge to Nosyaj. Ah, uh, uh, Nosyaj here report. They're made out of meat. Meat? Meat. They're made out of meat. Meat? There's no doubt about it. We picked several from different parts of the planet, took them aboard our recon vessels, probed them all the way through. They're completely meat. Ah, uh, that, that's impossible. Uh, what about the radio signals, the messages to the stars? They use radio waves to talk, but the signals don't come from them. The signals come from machines. So, uh, who made the machines? Uh, that's who we want to contact. They made the machines. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Meat made the machines. That's ridiculous. Uh, how can meat make machines? Uh, uh, you're asking me to believe in sentient meat? I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. These creatures are the only sentient race in the sector, and they're made out of meat. Uh, maybe they're, uh, they're like the Orofly. You know, a, a carbon-based intelligence that, that goes through a meat stage. They're born meat, and they die meat. We studied them for several of their lifespans, which don't take too long. Do you have any idea of the lifespan of meat? Uh, uh, spare me. Okay, maybe they're only part meat. Uh, you know, like the Whittle-Eye, uh, a meat head with, uh, with an electron plasma brain inside. Nope, we thought of that, since they do have meat heads like the Wedeli, but I told you, we probed them. They're meat all the way through. No, uh, no brain? There's a brain, all right. It's just that the brain is made out of meat. So, what, what does the thinking? You're not understanding, are you? The brain does the thinking. The meat. Thinking meat. Uh, you're asking me to believe in thinking meat? Yes, thinking meat, conscious meat, loving meat, dreaming meat. The meat is the whole deal. Are you getting the picture? Oh my god, are oh, you serious then? They're made out of meat? Finally, yes, they are indeed made out of meat. And they've been trying to get in touch with us for almost a, a hundred of their years. So, uh, what does this meat have in mind? First, it wants to talk to us. Then, I imagine it wants to explore the universe, contact other ascensions, swap ideas and information. The usual. Uh, we're supposed to talk to meat? That's the idea. The message they're sending out by radio. Hello, anyone out there? Anyone home? That sort of thing. They actually do talk, then. Uh, they use words, uh, concepts, ideas? Oh, yes, except they do it with meat. Oh, I, I thought you just told me they use radio. They do, but what do you think is on the radio? Meat sounds. You know, how when you slap meat or flap meat, it makes a noise. They talk by flapping their meat at each other, and they can even sing by squirting air through their meat. Oh my god, uh, singing meat? Uh, this is altogether oh, too much. So, uh, so what do you advise? Officially or unofficially? Both. Officially, we are required to contact, welcome, and log in any and all sentient races or multi-beings in the Quadrant, without prejudice, fear, or favor. Unofficially, I advise that we erase the records and forget the whole thing. Oh, I, I was hoping you would say that. It seems harsh, but there is a limit. Do we really want to make contact with meat? I, I agree, 100%. What's there to say? Uh, hello, meat! Uh, how's it going, meat? Uh, but will this work? Uh, how many planets are we dealing with here? Just one. They can travel to other planets in special meat containers, but they can't live on them. And being meat, they only travel through sea space, which limits them to the speed of light and makes the possibility of their ever making contact pretty slim. Infinitesimal, in fact. So we just pretend that there's no one home in the universe. That's it. Cruel. Uh, but you said it yourself. Who wants to meet meat? And the ones who've been aboard our vessels, uh, the ones you've probed, you sure they won't remember? They'll be considered crackpots if they do. We went into their heads and smoothed out their meat so that we're just a dream to them. A dream to meat. How strangely appropriate that we should be meat stream. And we can mark the sector unoccupied. Oh, good. Agreed. Uh, officially and unofficially, case closed.
any other to anyone else interested in that side of the galaxy. Yes, a rather shy but sweet hydrogen core cluster intelligence in a class 9 star in G445 zone was in contact two galactic rotations ago. Wants to be friendly again. They always come around. And why not imagine how unbearably, how unutterably cold the universe were, would be if one were all alone. Agreed. Uh, now report back to our vessel. Uh, 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 nose yadge out. This has been a production of Spartan Youth Radio. You can reach us at Spartan Youth Radio at gmail.com or find us online at Spartan Youth Radio.com. You can also call us on our megaphone at 705 869 1590, extension 6264. Spartan Youth Radio. We're all kinds of different. <laughs>